The main reason why so many people are depressed nowadays is because they have chosen to experience more pleasure than pain. And what do I mean by this? Let's say that your baseline happiness is 100. Then one day you decide to take a drug that raises your happiness to 200. And what happens the next day when the drug wears off? You feel like shit because your baseline happiness has decreased. Before it was 100, now it's 80. So you're feeling like shit and you think to yourself, damn, I need to take that drug again so I can feel better. So you take it again and what happens? Your happiness increases to 180, not 200 like you expected. And then the next day when the drug burns off, you go back to your baseline and the baseline is even uh, lower than it was before. So this cycle continues and once your baseline goes into the negatives, that's when you become seriously depressed. Life is like a balance between pain and pleasure. If you voluntarily choose to experience either one of these more than the other, life will push you the other one more. So if you choose to experience more pain, life will give you more pleasure. But if you choose to experience more pleasure, like most people do, life will give you more pain. You also need to disconnect happiness from pleasure, because most people think that they are the same thing, but they are completely different. Pleasure is like the feeling that you're getting when you're having sex, when you're eating junk food, when you're playing video games, when you're uh, sitting on a couch and just being a vegetable and just uh, sitting in comfort. But happiness is like the long lasting uh, piece of life. It's like, I don't know how to explain happiness. It's like the most difficult thing on this earth to explain. It's like when, you're, when you feel at peace and yeah, because pleasure is <laughs> much easier to explain. It's like the hit of dopamine. But happiness is like the long-term, long-lasting peace. Just being content and fulfilled in life. That's like happiness. But if you're constantly chasing pleasure, you will not achieve happiness. Because pleasure is not a way to happiness. So if you're constantly chasing pleasure, like you're eating junk food right now, you're skipping exercising, you're sitting in front of the TV and watching Netflix or playing video games, you will feel good right now. Because that's pleasure. But what happens in the long term? You will feel like shit because you will look down and you won't even be able to see your toes. <laughs> your stomach will be that big. After a couple of years, you will look back at your life and think, like, what have I done? What was my life for? I was just chasing pleasure and I wasn't doing any value to the world. I wasn't bringing any value to anyone. I was just consuming content. I was consuming junk food. What was the point of it? And you will feel depressed because you will realize like most of your life has been going to waste. But what happens if you voluntarily experience more pain? What happens if you go on, let's say, a 10 kilometer run or you go into an ice bath or you go and exercise or you go and eat that healthy meal? You will feel better afterwards because you're doing something that's good for you. And there's even a study done that uh, shows that having an ice bath raises your dopamine levels by a ton of percent. <laughs> I forgot how many percent, but like... Uh, yeah, doing these painful activities raises your dopamine levels much higher than uh, the pleasurable activities. In fact, for the pleasurable activities, it's like this. Here's your baseline, you do the pleasurable activity, your dopamine rises, and then after that it falls back down, even lower than baseline. So yeah, that's how it looks for the pleasurable activities. But for the painful activities, your baseline goes here, and then doing the painful activity, it goes down because it's painful, right? But after you have finished the activity, it goes back up even higher than baseline. So yeah, <laughs> doing painful activities is how you, how you raise your baseline happiness. And what do I want you to get out of this video? I want you to realize that experiencing more pain is better in the long term than trying to experience as much pleasure as you can right now. Uh, and I want you to actually think about how can you experience more pain in your life. Maybe you can go on uh, more runs, you can exercise more, you can go on ice baths or cold showers, you can maybe go talk to some girls that you like because, I don't know, that's painful. <laughs> and yeah, really do these activities because they will bring you happiness in the long term. Before doing this activity, really think about, okay, I will experience pain right now, but the happiness will come after. And the happiness will be much higher than if I were to just sit at home, watch Netflix and eat burgers and pizzas. So, yeah, I really hope that you found this video valuable and that you will go and experience more pain after watching this video. Because I would try to. I would do a workout right now and I don't know what else I could do. Maybe I can go on a run because I don't like going on runs at all. Actually, <laughs> there was a period of my life where I went on runs for like every day for like a month straight. And people were asking me, like, why the fuck are you going to so many runs? 
and my main answer was because I don't like going on runs. <laughs> and I found it so funny. They were like so amazed at me. How can I do something that I don't like? But I knew that experiencing more pain will give me more pleasure later on in life. So I tried to experience as much pain as I could because running <laughs> is like the most pain I could feel ever. Running is like the worst form of cardio that ever was created. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, this outro has been a bit long, but uh, yeah, I hope that you found this video useful and have an awesome day. Peace.